hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to install juniper srx firewall in gns3 and also we will do basic configuration in juniper srx after installation okay so pre request is gns3 and gns3 bm should be installed on your machine on your desktop so you can see so friends you can see i have already installed gns3 vm how to install gns3 i will give link in i button okay so you can go through there so next we have to download juniper srx gns3 appliance from gns3 and we have to download juniper srx image qq2 file from juniper site so first of all let me show you how to download this so first of all we have to go to gns3 download here download juniper srx gns3 appliance so you can see here on from juniper srx appliance we can download from here okay just click here to download okay so you can see we have downloaded here now we have to download download juniper srx image go to download juniper support.juniper.com okay from here we can type here vsrx vsrx now we have to select version 19.2 okay i have to download this qq2 file here okay agree proceed now click here to download so friends you can see i have downloaded juniper appliance image for genus 3 and we have qq2 file here first we have to import this file to genus 3 now let's go to import this click on file then click on import appliance now we have to select here our juniper srx file now select here install the appliance on genus 3 vm now click on next now friends you will get this option here now click on next here so i we have downloaded here let me show you so we have downloaded 19.2 r1.8 qq2 okay so let me so check here it's not showing here so we have to create our version here so it's not here create new version okay version it will be 19.2 r1.8 okay because we have 19.2 r1.8 okay you go to okay so here we have to select file name just copy this file name here now click ok so now you can see we have created our version so now we have to import this file here so you can see now click on import so now we have to import this file open now it's uploading image to gns3 so i'm pausing this video let it complete it okay now friends you can see image up uploaded here now it's ready to install okay now you can see it's ready to install here now we can install it okay now click on next would you like to install yes so initial username will be root and no password okay now click on finish here the appliance has been installed and template name has been successfully created click ok so now we'll let me show you srx has been created so friends you can see srx template has been created here ok so now what we have to do so let's create new project here we will do basic configuration srx lab ok so now we can drag and drop here now right click and start start now 
Now friends, you can see it's booting. See installation is started here. It will take approximately 10 minutes to complete this installation. Okay, let it complete. Now friends, you can see installation completed here. So we can log in here with default user root and no password. So friends, first of all, we have to set root password here. Okay, so we have to go to CLI for operational mode. Then need to enter in configuration mode. Okay, configure. Now from here we can set root password, set root password, set system root authentic root authentication plain text password. Now type password here. Sorry. Password should be no. again type password. No password set commit. Okay. So you can see we have only one interface here management interface okay so we can set IP address to management interface to access from GUI and uh, from SSH we can access via SSH so let's set set interface FX0 unit 0 family INET address IP address of password here we have to set here 192.168.100. dot and slash 24 now commit now what we'll have to do we have to connect via cloud so let me connect with cloud now we have to set interface on cloud right click and configure Ethernet okay okay now connect with Ethernet FX0 okay now let's try to access from GUI 192 168 100.50 so you can see we are able to access from GUI admin admin one two yeah it's good we are able to log in here. Now let's try from SSH. 192, 168, 100, 50. Accept. So friends, you can see this is my GUI dashboard jweb okay so friends in this video we have learned how to install juniper srx in gns3 so friends in coming video we will see how to install uh, how to do basic configuration how to do interface configuration here and net configuration i we will do ipsec vpn we will do multiple live here cluster ha like that okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day